Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It's a kit in Profi Pack edition version and we have uh, Avia S199 but this time it comes with a bubble canopy and in 170 second scale it should be quite a decent build for those who would like to build an interesting aircraft which is kind of familiar to most of you I would say and we have a commercial sample here so it will be exactly the same plastic as what you will get if you order it from any good model shop or maybe directly from Edward and first of all I would like to know the box art of this kit it looks really impressive it's almost like a painting and I like that Edward keeps introducing really good artworks on their boxes and the box size here is quite standard here you can see comparison with my hand as for the sides here we have some information about the manufacturer some safety devices while on the opposite side you'll find I think it's uh, six marking options as you can see which are quite different even though they might look a bit similar at the first sight, especially this red nosed aircraft deserves a bit more attention and it's a top opening box so here's what we have inside let's not forget that we are dealing with a 170 second scale kit so that's why there are not that many uh, sprues but still parts count is quite impressive for this size of the model and now I'm opening the sprue which was on the top it's a clear sprue with the canopy parts and some of the target side parts as well as far as you can see and molding quality looks fine I do not see any problems or issues here so it's just a matter of careful installation and assembly and you'll be good to go and of course you can open the cockpit with such parts so it will be a good option for those who would like to expose all the cockpit features on the finished model and as for the gray plastic sprues we have three frames in total so I'm going to remove them right now and we will check them one by one. Just give me a moment. So first of all, we start with the smallest one. Here we have Fizzlewatch halves. Both are molded together with the tail fins and we have also top section of the conic molded separately which is rather nice because you won't have any gaps in such visible area. Uh, we have external features in form of recessed panel lines and rivets so if I zoom in here you can take a closer look at what I'm talking about. And overall molding quality seems to be fine. I mean these parts are clear and crisp so it's just a matter of careful separation. And if I flip it over inside we have some minor cockpit features but obviously they will be enhanced with help of B parts and separate plastic parts. Note that we also have guiding pins which is quite important in this scale because uh, this will help you to uh, guide both parts in a bit more precise way and you'll be able to join them without any additional issues. Next we continue with another grey plastic sprue. So here we have wing parts and also some of the tail wings as well. And overall parts design is standard for such thing I would say. We also have uh, flaps pre-molded as far as you can see. As for the external features I can zoom in and you can check here for example that we have again recessed panel lines and rivets. So it's just a matter of careful assembly and maybe not over going with the paint layer and primer layer by the way note that pitot tube is pre-molded so be careful with it and inside again we have wing edges which will serve you as a guiding pins but we also have the guiding pins i mean the actual pins here inside as well so this ones will be used as a guiding elements but you can uh, also be uh, let's say sure that the pins will help you as well and note that actually the, the lower section of the flaps is molded separately so maybe you will be able to uh, assemble them in a dropped position on this model. Next is the last grey plastic sprue so here we have mix of various parts because we haven't encountered the cockpit elements and they are here we also have some landing gear parts more parts for the um, propeller for example and for the machine gun area but we can zoom in into the top left corner as usual and start with checking all these parts so here you can see some of the landing gear parts 
And of course you can upgrade the engine gear with the uh, resin wheels and the bronze engine gear wax. It will cost a bit extra, but it might be worth for some modders. Here we continue with the cockpit 4 and some of the cockpit parts. Again, cockpit can be upgraded with the brushing set and I will be reviewing the resin set uh, as well so it should be out on YouTube channel when this video will be published and here we continue with external fuel tank propeller also more of the engine gear legs and wheels parts and all in all even though this is a really tiny scale just to give you an idea of the size of these parts here is comparison with my hand so in 170 second scale it won't be a huge build but still Edward managed to mold everything in a nice way and the only thing which comes to my mind is that maybe older modelers will have some problems due to the size of the models but that's something what you expect in a small 170 second scale so nothing to be surprised of. Next we continue with the masks so these ones are pre-cut as you can see this is a typical Edward bonus which should be handy for a fine detailing of your aircraft and of course it will speed up the whole assembly and painting process. Next we continue with the P fret. So this one is also not that big and we have it pre-painted so we have some parts for the cockpit and overall quality is really good. It's a typical Edward project so it's just a matter of installing all these parts into the cockpit and maybe uh, trying to paint them uh, in a proper way because some of the parts will be used for the external elements of the fuselage so it will be necessary to cover them with the primer first and then to paint them into the proper color. Next I'm opening another plastic bag here we have two decal sheets and both are printed in Edward of course so first one is dedicated to stencils I will close the lenses so that you can see all these stencils but they were quite fine it's just a, a bit tedious to apply all these minor writings on your model but that's something what you cannot avoid and in 170 second scale it should look impressive because not that many brands still offer stencils out of the box and then there is a bit bigger decal sheet here with the main symbols for six marking options as you remember so quite nice printing quality we also have some cockpit decals and if I bring it closer here you can see that even the tiniest writings are still readable so there is nothing to be worried about. Okay. Next we continue with assembly manual so this one is printed in form of large cover printed brochure we have short history note on the first page but of course nobody stops you from checking some reference materials if you would need here we have parts map and also we continue with assembly process or we actually start with it so here straight away you have to work with P parts those are seat belts which will be obviously installed on the pilot seat then we join fuselage halves together and install the cockpit from the bottom. Here we assemble the wing and note that some parts will differ so you have to decide which marking you would like to choose and then you have to pick the right version of the part. Tail fairings are quite simple. Also wing mechanization goes here and there. Next we continue with the bonnet bulges and wing flaps here. Also you can see the P mesh is being used for engine radiators. Next we continue with landing gear wheels. Here we can use the masks supplied in the kit. Also we have external fuel tanks as you remember. Uh, here you can see the canopy parts and masks guide for the canopy as well. And next we can also install under wing cannons. This is quite surprising. I did not know that this aircraft actually used them, but here we have one of them. And at least it is visible from the top view, but it's not visible from the side profile due to the cover of this aircraft. Here we have another pair of aircraft and two more here. Okay, and the stenciling guide as detailed as usual, so it's important to apply all these tiny things on your aircraft. As for the kit itself, it should be already available, so you can get it on official Edward website. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.